y'all ready? We're gonna, be, we're gonna be cool here? We're gonna be cool? We cool? So, all right. What's that? What's that? What, can we, could, could you turn it up a little bit so we can hear it a little better? That little that video you're watching? What, what's that you were watching? We, I couldn't quite hear it. And Melissa, you guys like switch up your veins and where you're from and did something different to give us some. Hold on one second. All right, son. Sitting <laughs> <laughs> back there. Yeah. They didn't want to watch themselves. They can at least do something to make it fun. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, sure, right? Constant. She knows. No, she knows. She knows. She just, she just wasn't what they wanted. Oh, it's you. It's you. I don't like you. They're fine. You, I don't know. You can, you can find yourself a better caliber of friend is what I'm trying to say. If you owe your wife, she's a beautiful woman. You're very lucky to have her. Very lucky. You're a very lucky man. Why is she sitting over there then? Who's just in the middle? That's my little sister. That's your little sister. All right. Hey, how's it going? Good daddy. It's a ghost with the most, babe. Hey, daddy. How you doing, there? She made me cry right there. I'm just telling you right now. Right there, that one right there. In the Jurassic Park shirt. Made me cry. She said, out of nowhere, I'm just sitting here, out of here trying to entertain the people. You know, have a little chit-chat with the children. And she says, I don't like you. For no reason whatsoever. I have done nothing to her. And trust me, there are people out there that don't like me, but they have good reason. But I have done nothing to, we're going to call her Amy. I don't really know, but I don't even know that's her name, but that's what I'm calling her. Shamey Amy. I don't care. Watch the show. Shamey Amy over here. I'm like, I don't like you. I don't like your face, and I don't like your ugly suit. I'm, that's a little hyperbolic. She didn't say it in the last part, but it just meant that's how it felt, you know? I'm where I'm talking now. I'm done. It's me now. All right. We're done with this. What's your sister's name? She seems like the nice one. Oh, no, she's not. Ariana? Oh. I don't, Amy, I don't believe a word that you say. I'm not in the little of a How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? How do I do it? Ready? Raggy. What? Where? Hey, back there. How you doing? We got another siblings here. We got siblings for days out there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this happy couple. How you doing? How long have you two been together? 30 years? What's the key to it? What is it? Let's, let's talk to this happy couple over here, old Amy and, and Buck, Buck Buckley. All right? <laughs> what, what, tell them the key to, to what's the key to a successful relationship? Compromise. Yeah. And don't talk so much. There's why I think that one. Yeah. Especially when you don't have a micro, especially when you don't have a microphone. I don't care. You keep on looking. You like what you see. That's right. I'll work out. I'll work out. I can crack a walnut. I mean, nobody wants to eat it afterwards, but I can crack a walnut. Don't think about it too hard, all right? Don't think about it too hard. You okay back there? Pretty in pink? What's your name? Yell it out. Nancy. Nice. Good. Good. I like that. She actually did that. Sometimes you ask her name, they're like, you didn't know like, what is it? Did you get I heard it, Cal. Hey, I was saying that you did a great job. Thank you for buying some merchandise, sir. That helps pay my salary. Very nice. Very nice. Well, this poor young man. He's going to be part of it. Look at that. Okay. I know where you can get some. Go to the second hand shop. <laughs> right? Come on now. Come on. Right? Ladies, how are you? I'm available. That's all I'm saying. You and me, I'm talking to you about you sparkles in the center. Yeah, you sparkles. Yeah. That's right, Robin Sparkles. See me after the show. Say my name three times if you know what I mean, right?
You okay, Max? Hanging in? You doing all right? No, you're not doing all right? What's wrong? What's wrong, Max? We need to talk about it. What's wrong, Max? How old are you, Max? You know, no years old? Stella, how old is Max? 11, thank you. I knew you were throwing under the bus for me. Yeah, thank you. How old are you? 11, ooh, Max. What do you hear, what do you hear? What's your name? Caitlin, Max, meet Caitlin. Caitlin, meet Max. I say after the show, you go across the street, you go get yourself some ice cream, sit down and talk about life, you know? And you can tell later when they say, how did you two meet? They say, you're never gonna believe in a dead guy. And then, then after 30 years, you're gonna be like these two. Look, aren't they sweet? Aren't they romantic? Look how they don't talk to each other at all. They sit there and close body language. I'm like, oh, you all right? Everything all right? Gotta go potty. Gotta go tinkle. Wash your hands. All right, everybody, we're excited to have you here. Come on. Nice, very good. Speaking of, like the ladies going out there, we're going to ask you to make sure, okay, make sure you're washing your hands up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, little man. Uh, make sure you're washing, oh, she's back, she's back. Wow, that was quick, that was good. A fast alarm, okay. Did you just go in the corner? Is that what happened? Did you just go in the corner? All right, avoid that corner. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're wearing your face coverings. Make sure you're maintaining that nice social distance. Wash your hands often. If your hands aren't chapped right now, you're not doing it right. All right? Uh, make sure you use the hand sanitizer stations throughout the park and at all points of purchase. That's big, 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 big points of purchase. You know, where we take your money. Um, uh, if you cough or sneeze, cover your mouth and then wash your hands again, for goodness sake. What is wrong with you? Take care, little man. I miss you. All right? And, uh, that, and at the end of the show, uh, keep in mind that we're going to have you exit one row at a time. So first row, the next row, the next row. Kind of like going to a buffet at a wedding. So you chose the wrong table back there, didn't you? Yeah. All right, so let's cover that. Let me just check the paper here. And let's see. Corporate, you know. Right. Okay, oh yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, this time we have to be no eating, no drinking, no smoking, and no flash photography. And whatever you do, silence your cell phones. Turn them off. All right? And for all our little ones out here, like this young lady here, and, and uh, Max and his sister and his, his new bride over here, uh, Caitlin, just remember that this scenes, there may be scenes that are very intense and full of gore. So, hey, nightmare fuel. Is everybody ready? Let me hear you scream. <laughs> Let me hear you scream, Sparkles. There it is. Showtime. <laughs> Bam. Sparkles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Universal Studios Florida is pleased to present the Horror Makeup Show. And now, how about a nice round of applause for the host of today's show, Alex Ross! Oh, yeah. How you guys doing? Having fun today? Sweet. My name is Alex Ross. I'm the host of the show. We've got a special guest all the way from L.A. His name is Mark James. He's a creature creator, makeup artist. He's been in the business quite a while, known him a long time, very lucky to have him here. He's going to come out and explain what goes on behind the scenes when you're making a horror movie, which is extremely interesting. It's a lot, a lot of fun. So, let's bring a lot of noise for Mr. Mark James! <laughs> Maybe you can hear Mark James! Six feet away from each other. 
You have like a tube? I got <laughs> Okay. Uh, mask to mask. <laughs> That's what you need. I'm scared. I'm not spraying I'm first. Just, do not spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna die. It might be. It might be easier that way. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Invented the horror movie as we know it today. Have it out of mind. Let's take a look at some of the scariest moments for Universal's legacy of horror. But before we see this up, this one is used to it. If you're easily nauseated or you become frightened, just close your eyes. Yeah, but let your kids watch. <laughs> Children's it's the children's project we've been working on. Can I see it? Yeah, we're gonna actually we're gonna see that a little bit later. Actually, later? Yeah, like at the end of the show. There's gonna be an end to this. You know, eventually. <laughs> yeah. So, so just, just six feet from the curtain. No, six feet from the curtain. There you go. Uh, actually, you can't help me. Can you? Uh, can you help me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just, uh, first, we gotta put on our PPE. What's PPE stand for? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Personal protection equipment. No. Right. You look like a superhero. Thank you. <laughs> this jacket? Yes, please. All right. Get your name in it. These rubber gloves leave something to be desired. <laughs> you right? Oh, you look good. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. I <laughs> <laughs> got the audience. So don't, don't go out. But just look around. Find me one person that no one cares too much about. A volunteer? Yeah, sure. I have a bunch of people at home who won't leave my home like a real. I don't like your children. So <laughs> well, I can't see through this at all. <laughs> We're looking for someone who probably wishes right now they were in their car driving somewhere else. Are these your daughters, ma'am? Oh wait a second. I think I want this lady right here! Ooh, Let's see with the volunteer! Yay! Yeah! Come on down! I've got some special ointment that my grandmother made in her still. Yeah. There you go. Just stand right here on the trap door. My name is Alex, and your name is? Sophia. Sophia, Sophia, this is Mark. Hi, Sophia. Hi, hi. Where, where are you from, Sophia? Georgia. Georgia great Sophia from Georgia! Georgia. 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 Who are you here with today, Sophia? Just friends? Just friends? Okay. <laughs> How's that going? Good? Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna uh, give you all the, uh, we got some body parts over here. We're gonna build you a new friend, okay? Yeah, maybe one who's not afraid to commit then. So, come on over. Uh, just uh, pick out the ones you like, we'll put them together. Yeah, just take this whatever you like. This side. Ah! No! Dude! That's not nice. I'm waiting right here. Sorry, he's weird. We're gonna get that down there. This reach down and grab the arm and yank it up. Get it. Get over here. 
Yeah. <laughs> I apologize for him. Uh, you're fine. Now here's Sophia. Uh, Alex, if you could please, I need you to roll up your left sleeve. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, you might be wondering, guys, where we get all these separate limbs and body parts for movies. Well, I gotta show you. Come here. Me? Why would you come with me? I'm your friend. I'm watching you guys somebody else. Sophia! Right, I'll put that one. We're not gonna use that big rusty knife. Use a smaller, sharper knife. <laughs> Alright, Sophia, uh, if you could take your right arm right over the tray there. I'm gonna take this knife. I'm gonna cut your arm. It, <laughs> You volunteer. So, <laughs> when, when I catch you, I need you to scream, like, like in a horror movie. All right, so we'll practice. Okay, we'll practice. And then, so I'll count to three, you scream as loud as you can, okay? Okay, okay, just a second. One, two, three. Okay, I get it, I get it now, I get it now. That was terrible. Uh, it's just, just big and loud, just cut loose, babe. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That works, that's it. Right over the, right over the, right over the drip tray. It's on three, ready? One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Before you cut it, there are kids in the house. Okay. You want me to cut a kid? <laughs> cut all of them. Oh, I want you to talk to the oh, kids. Oh, I forgot. You can relax. Kids. Listen up, guys. This is important. Do not drink beer for breakfast. Okay? <laughs> Just because mommy does it doesn't mean it's okay. All right? She only does that because she's been stuck home alone with you for three months. What? Distance learning. <laughs> <laughs> mommy doesn't know what a semicolon is, okay? Nobody does. <laughs> Look it up. This is supposed to be a safety tip. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, also the blades you're seeing today have been dull, of course. Either that, or they're made out of plastic, right? Sometimes they're dull and plastic, like the Kardashians. So, <laughs> whenever you start late, also the people who set up the infection, they're not drinking, are very professional. So, don't try this at home. Do it at your friend's house. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right, Sophia, you get a close-up on Sophia? You got this, baby. No worries. Right, right over there. Perfect. On three, big screen. One, two, three, screen. <laughs> ah! No! Uh, no, do something. Like what? Do something. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Does that, does that burn? That'll burn. <laughs> All right, Sophia, take a look. Ta da! Sophia, everybody, give it up. Very nice. That's a step. All right, guys, let me show you. It's pretty simple, really. You see the blade retracts into the handle like so. Right, little cutout that's over Sophia's arm. You don't see that. We hide it. We'll cut away and then pull it. Like that. Very simple. Little fake blood in the squeeze bulb. It's kind of that was the venom of the great Tom Savini, even though for Dawn of the Dead. Blaze on a sharp. Sophia is uncovered. That's it for Sophia! Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, there's a big yeah. history of makeup artists yeah. at Universal. This goes back 100 years, correct? Yeah, 100 years. Yeah, take a look real quick. Yeah. Makeup pioneer Lon Chaney started it all. Known as the man of a thousand faces. Lon Chaney was a great actor and he created all his own makeup. Yeah. Or hundreds of Universal silent films. A brilliant actor truly suffered for his art. Here he injected bleach into his own eye. <laughs> okay, made that up. <laughs> he did wear a harness and a hump that contorted his body. He could not stand upright during the filming of Hunchback. Now we can only guess how Cheney achieved most of these effects were secretive about his techniques. Never told anyone his secrets, not his family, his co-workers, not even his son, Dick. Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney, right. <laughs> wow, nothing, okay. I'm uh, taking the take away for that man. That is the legendary Jack Pierce, genius behind Universal's greatest monsters. Wolfman, the mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Carol Baskin, and Joe Exotic. <laughs> Jack worked day and night doing exhaustive research in morgues, hospitals, experimenting on cadavers. It's just me looking for toilet paper. <laughs> and that, of course, is Boris Karloff. It's Frankenstein's monster. Very crude materials, plaster, rubber, morticians, wax. Makes me that flat head on an old hat box. And uh, yeah, Karloff again. It's the original mummy. It took eight hours to lay around the makeup, bandages, and mud. Eight hours for about 10 minutes of screen time. And yes, Universal did have a share of crap. 
this big brain creature from the Universal Classic, Attack of the Murder Hornets. <laughs> then 1968, a guy named John Chambers really changed everything. First guy to use foam latex on the original Planet of the Apes. She was like, and then she flicked a booger. <laughs> she flicked a booger at the curtain and then moved it. It was a big one. I think she's been saving it. Finally did something before that. <laughs> Just go back to what you were talking about. Yeah, I don't, where were you? I didn't remember. You were talking about Planet of the Apes, 1968, and then they used the Playtex. What? <laughs> the latex. What? Latex. What did I say? You said Playtex. Did I? Yeah. Oh, those are different. Yes. <laughs> It's a whole different movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, and latex is just an example of practical makeup, hands-on makeup. Uh, Separate so practical makeup in the new version of The Mummy. I think I brought a clip. Thank you. Yeah, starts a pre-production, of course. Makeup team will first design a series of conceptual drawings. In some cases, painting directly over existing photos of the actor. In this case, the lovely Sophia Butella plays the mummy. From the drawings, sculpts are made. Those are used as reference to build latex and find pieces. You see here, being glued to Miss Butella's face. Those tiny brunic symbols applied to tweezers. Very, um, very painstaking process. It's going to take up to four hours. That's before filming even starts. They also designed silicone pieces, embedded ink infused glue to produce the thousands of rooms necessary to cover her entire body. It looks so good, everybody fell down. <laughs> you see, it takes a whole team of artists working daily to get the makeup just right. Just be consistent, right? Very important. So it could take months, Mr. Tell through this process dozens of times just to remain consistent throughout, of course. Hope all that hard work shows up on screen. Whee! Catch me! <laughs> nice. And, and he gets a remix, of course, those artists were inspired by the artists who came before. We talked about Jack Pierce, mm -hmm. the original mummy. He inspired a guy named Dick Smith. Dick Smith inspired Rick Baker, so it's a real legacy. Universal. Now, those of you who don't know the name Rick Baker, you know his work. How many Academy Awards? Yeah, seven Oscars. Uh, just a brilliant career. Men in Black, Many Professor. Grinch and Wood. And the Hendersons. And this one is first Oscar winner, kids. What movie is this? Hendersons. American Werewolf in London. Very good. 1981. Richard was so innovative here. Actually, won the very first Oscar ever awarded for makeup. Inspired a whole generation of artists. Thanks. Nice. 
It's a great movie. If you've never seen it, find it, watch it, because you'll love it. Yeah. But when you're watching the movie and the werewolf is growing, yes. you don't see a lot of editing. How is that accomplished 40 years yeah, ago? Right? Well, I don't know. Yeah, because right, it's the 80s, and we're really using computers yet. So the first part's an actor in latex, like we talked about. The rest of the scene, Rick designed mechanical heads that change shape. All right, now it's a, a fiberglass understructure. You see it here. This is based on the actor's face. And we covered this with a series of latex wolf masks like so. Hang on, sorry about that. There they go. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. They're running on a pneumatic system. Pneumatics, which is air pressure. Air pressure, exactly. Right. Pushes out the jaw, snap, whatever. That stretches the latex so it looks like it's growing, transforming. Right? Very realistic. Uh, yeah, for close, that's very detailed. Of course, undead will work. Real hair on there. No. Yeah. Real hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you get real hair? Uh, from Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> Take the boogers out of it. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you still use this practical makeup today? Oh, girl, we do. <laughs> <laughs> but today we probably combine it with digital effects, uh, CGI, that kind of thing. I'm over, click, but that's cool. What? Yeah, because it's not really how they use practical makeup, they never remake it a movie, right? Most films nowadays use a combination of techniques, digital as well as practical. We'll start with these guys. That's called animatic placeholder, just to. Uh, just gonna come make us an idea what they want the creature to look like, what's gonna move, or its placement on screen. So in the mummy, they would film Sophia Mattella in a motion capture suit. See it there. All the squares, circles, triangles, those track her movements. And then a digital artist can take that footage, morph it, change it any way they want. And again, we're combining effects. So whenever you do that, both the digital team and the makeup team, I just want to refer back to the original concept of that consistency. Just gotta make sure everybody's on the same page. So when you put all these different pieces together, final effect is flawless. And digital effects are a great tool. When combined with practical makeup, great performances, and a classic story, nightmares come true. That's it for Mark Jay! Yeah. 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 You want to see what you're hiding behind your curtain? You want to do it real quick? You want to? We got time? We got time. You got to help me. I do? Yeah, yeah. What do I got to do? It's easy. Just put on this high voltage vest. High voltage? Yeah, no, it's a low voltage vest. I'm metal from here down. I can't put it. It's gonna be great. No, for me. Put it on. No, I'll get it to somebody else. Oh, you know who to get? <gasps> Sophia. Sophia. Oh, that's it for Sophia again. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I have some more of Grandma's ointment. <laughs> I have it help you if I can. It's just a bed. Okay, just put it on. And then a glove. And then a helmet. So okay, it's easy. All right, so this is actually a creature controller. Sophia's going to bring my monster to life. Hopefully. There you go. Perfect. There's Dandy's big girl dressed in her cell. Yeah, right again. All right, so let's meet him, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce you to my latest creation for the first time anywhere, the one and only. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That is for a children's show? It is, actually. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's for the final episode of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Should be great. It's called Adios Diego. <laughs> You're great. Uh, she's ready to come in sense. And your movements will be relayed electronically to Ed. So when you move, he moves like a puppet. But you'll be fine for now. Just hold still. I'm going to turn the power on. And now when I do that, you will feel just a slight vibration. <laughs> <laughs> you won't ever remember that part. And then when you wake up, your shorts will be wet. So that's okay. <laughs> we need to get a picture. What are you doing? Oh. No. My... That's for Johnson & Johnson. Mr. <laughs> Tia, you ready? Right, so we'll just fire him up. Give a second, reset. Dude, why are your lights blinking weird like that? No, it's, it's fine. It's just the. Uh, it's what? It's fine. So, Tia, you ready? So, let me raise your right arm. Uh -huh. See, that's you. That's how we control the creature from off camera. Faster. I do my hair talk. <laughs> 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 
Baby, how you feeling? He look cool as hell! <laughs> I got carried away, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite cool. song. Wait to the kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, <laughs> Nate. I live under your bed. <laughs> and I'm telling you, great job. Take them out, you two. Nice. Up. Turn down. Perfect. That's it. Eddie, everybody. One more little squirt of grandma's juice. Oh, I think we got it done. That's it for Sophia! Yeah. 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 That's it for the monster! <laughs> Sophia gets out to there, and this young lady on the end can start dying. 